Hi, I'm Will Bell from the Film 35. Today we're going to be setting up dual screen on a laptop or a desktop. Firstly, you're going to want to know whether dual screen is right for you. It helps you multitask in things like video editing and Photoshop and browsing the internet. You can do more than two things at once. Before we start, you need to know that there are two types of cable connecting your monitor to your PC. The first type is called VGA or Video Graphics Array. Nine times out of ten you'll have a VGA output on your laptop. And the second type of connection is DVI or Digital Visual Interface. You will need one external monitor if you're using a laptop, two monitors if you're using a desktop, preferably the same size, but if they're not, We'll come to that later. One VGA to VGA cable if you're using a laptop. Either two VGA cables or two DVI cables or one of each if you're using a desktop and either a desktop or laptop running XP, Vista or Windows 7. First I'm going to set dual screen up on a desktop. You can achieve dual screen on any version of Windows be it Windows XP, Windows Vista or Windows 7. We now need to go to the back of your desktop and see what kind of graphics card you have. This graphics card has one VGA output and one DVI output. So we'll need one DVI to DVI cable and one VGA to VGA cable. The monitor outputs can be of any combination, be it two VGAs, two DVIs or one of each. If your monitors only support VGA or only support DVI, you can buy an adapter relatively cheaply which converts from DVI to VGA and vice versa. This adapter has a male DVI to female VGA. If you plug a VGA to VGA cable onto the blue end, it will work both ways converting DVI to VGA and VGA to DVI. My monitors support DVI and VGA, so I won't be using an adapter. If your computer has an integrated graphics card, shown here, you will need to purchase a new graphics card to run dual screen. They are relatively inexpensive and when purchasing one you need to check whether that model has two monitor outputs. If you don't want to buy a new graphics card, instead you can buy a USB to VGA adapter. They work like any USB device and supplied software helps you configure your second monitor. As they are not graphics cards, they may not be able to support high resolution monitors or high end games which is why I suggest that you buy a graphics card in the first place. All laptops have a VGA output on the side and you only need one output for one external monitor seen as laptops have one monitor built in. Now that we've checked whether your computer is compatible let's go ahead and install the monitors. Insert the cables into the graphics card making sure that they are the right way up so that you don't bend the pins. Now using the same technique Insert the other end of the first cable into monitor 1. And then insert the other end of the second cable into monitor 2. Here is a time lapse of the setup. Setting up a laptop is even easier. First plug one end of the VGA cable into the laptop and the other end into the back of the monitor. When you first boot up Windows 7, dual screen may have already been configured but the chances are it's incorrect and one of the screens may be in the wrong position so we'll need to go ahead and adjust the display settings. After installing all the new software that has come with your new graphics card, right click on the desktop. Next, click on Screen Resolution. The image is being shared across both screens and will look like this. You may need to press Detect so that Windows can find your second monitor. Under the heading Multiple Displays, you will notice that the drop down tag says Duplicate These Displays. Scroll down and select Extend These Displays. The window at the top will now display two monitors. Hit Apply and then hit keep changes. Your desktop should now be spread over two monitors. You can move the monitors up and down if your monitors are not level and resize them 
by choosing different screen resolutions here. Dragging one monitor to the other side of the other one swaps the screens around. You can select which monitor is your main display, resulting in the taskbar being swapped over to each screen. I prefer to have my taskbar on the left monitor. Setting up Windows Vista is virtually the same as setting up Windows XP. I don't actually have a Vista machine because it was such a failure, but I've set it up on Vista before. First go to the control panel and click adjust screen resolution. A screen will pop up similar to the XP one, you can follow the same setup as the XP machine from now on. Ok so we're on the XP machine here, first thing we want to do is right click and hit properties and then when the when this window comes up we're going to go along the top of these tabs and hit settings. Now the machine has noticed that there's another monitor but it says not active so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one it's a bit faded so you know that it's not active I mean if it extend my, my windows onto this monitor and then we can hit apply now it flickers a bit and then my monitor, my second monitor is, has turned on now so obviously if your screens are different sizes or different levels you can adjust it and change the height and if you want to change them over instead of unplugging them and swapping them round you can do it like that and swap them over and then we're just going to hit OK and yes we'd like to keep these settings. Okay thanks for watching, hope this video was useful. If you've got any questions email me at will at film35.co.uk or leave a comment below or send me an email on YouTube. Don't forget to check out www.thefilm35.co.uk for more and don't forget to subscribe. There are more how-to videos on our channel. You can also email me to request a how-to video to be made. And the music was by Incompetech.